Hello Aquarius, this is going to be a birthday reading for you. So I am going to take an energy card from this deck and then I'm going to choose another deck and then we're going to see what is the energy around you. Remember that this is general, this is for female and male. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Also remember to check out your other signs in your chart. But let's see, oh, we have, it's up to you. So first of all, it's up to you. Let's take another deck and see what else we can get for Aquarius. That is a lot of cards, but again, if cards fall out, there is a reason. I just moved the table a little bit. Okay, well, let's just, um, you know, Start from the beginning and see what this is about. So you have the Saturn, the water, the message and the, the pyramid. There's something that you are blocking that you actually agree to from a past life. And I do feel that in this case it is linked together with another person. It is linked together with emotions. It might be linked together with a water sign for some of you guys. There is a message that really wants to come true. I do feel it's intuitive. It's from your higher self. It's from the universe, your angels and guides. But there is a lesson that you're overseeing. There's a message. I am going to see if I can get some information about what it is that's up to you. Obviously we all have, you know, our own will, we can choose whatever we want to, we can choose to move in the direction of this lesson, of whatever you agreed to in a past life, maybe with another person, or you can choose another path. But if you choose to go in another direction, I do feel that you are missing a lesson or you are missing something emotional that you need to, to learn. But let's see what is it that it's up to, that is up to you. We have the nine of Raphael. Make a wish, dreams become reality. A joyful time of life. So it is up to you if you want to take this new adventure, if you want to go in the direction of what it is that you actually want to create. Because whatever it is that you want to create here, it is going to become your reality. But you are blocking your emotions, you are blocking your intuition, you are blocking the message that's actually trying to come into your life. Let's put these up here and then I'm going to take the normal tarot so that we can go a little bit deeper and see what is happening. I heard the word control, so I do feel that you are having a hard time with people who who try to take control over your life. You might have someone in your life who is trying to tell you things that you are very unsure, unsure about. You might have someone in your life who is trying to steer you in the wrong direction. Again, you can also be dealing with Aquarius. That you are very sure about this person um, and it makes you again it really makes you want to leave the situation it wants it makes you want to to let go of this person and the universe is like it's up to you if you want to let go or if you want to continue but you have to understand that this is a past life agreement whatever is happening with you or another person if you're not dealing with another person this is a situation i heard an ending this is an ending of something maybe a job maybe um education that you feel like is not for you anymore this can be a lot of things this can be old mental belief systems yeah we have judgment reversed the five of swords reversed the page of wands the nine of pentacles the Seven of Swords, the Four of Pentacles reversed, 
you are trapping yourself and I do feel that this is about love. I mean, look at this. For a lot of you guys, this is about love. And at the bottom of the deck, look at this. Some of you guys, I heard some of you guys are dealing with a Libra. Some of you guys are having a hard time choosing someone else. Or you are dealing with someone who is having a hard time choosing you. You are in a situation where you are very unhappy. Or again, you are dealing with someone who is in a situation where they are very unhappy. And again, it is up to you what, what you do here. But I do feel that you are guided to move in the direction of something new. To choose your heart's desire. Because again, you do have the... Uh, make a wish because your dreams are becoming your reality. This is a new beginning for you, but I do feel that you are having a hard time making a decision based on your emotions. And you are not really reading the signs. You are not reading the signs around you. You are not seeing the message. You are holding on to the old. The universe keeps giving you signs, you might even see butterflies, you might see clouds, you might see numbers. But you're too focused on the road like this, it's hard to get from point A to point B. Don't give up too easily here, I heard. The message here is not to give up. Don't give up because that you are at a point right now in your life where you are about to give up. And whatever you're going through, it's a lesson. It's a lesson that you agree to from your past life. It might even be something that you agree to with this person. Like, I agree to go through this. Let's agree to go through this. Let's agree to learn so that we can do this better in another life. I love you guys dealing with creative blocks. Like, again, you are stuck in being creative. You are stuck in your dreams. Some of you guys want to be self-employed. Some of you guys want to travel. You want to move home. You want to to find peace. You want to find love. Again, this could be you. This could be the person that you're dealing with. You are stuck in the past and you refuse to move forward. I do feel that whatever situation that you're going through right now, it is a part of a lesson. And it's a part of you not giving up because you are made out of something very very strong you're you are a star seed i heard that you are a seer so some of you guys are spiritual mediums like you are i mean we all have the ability but some of us are you know we agree in a past life to help other people to be a light worker to use our abilities but a lot of us in this world or in this reality um we get afraid because we don't want to have people judging us. So a lot of you guys are afraid of judgment. You are afraid that you can live from, you know, whatever it is that you want to do with the spiritual. Maybe it's YouTube, maybe it's tarot card, it's crystals, it's healing. You are afraid that you can make money with what it is that you want. For some of you guys, it's not about anything spiritual. This can be something creative. This can be... Um, for some reason I heard like drawings, tattooing, something with cooking, having your own restaurant, having your own store, painting. There is a lot of creative flow here. You are such a creative person, but you are blocking yourself. You don't see how easy it is for you to actually get loose from, you know, the old. You are dishonest to yourself or you are afraid of people being dishonest to you. It makes you block yourself. You want to be creative, but you keep having this, like you are, something must have happened in the past for some of you guys, where you like, people are dishonest, I can't trust people's opinions, I can't trust myself, because people did that to me in the past, or that person said that to me in the past. Some of you guys might have had someone who was like, you can never become whatever you want, because you can make money with that, or some of you guys might even have had someone who's like, straight up told you that you were stupid. That is a lie. That is not true. It's up to you what you want to believe in. What is your reality? Take a moment and really think about this. What is your reality? 
Is your reality that people are dishonest, that you are locked, that you are unhappy, that you can't move? Or do you want your reality to be your dreams? Because it is here and you agree to go through whatever it is that you're going through. But sometimes we do need to unif ourselves from a situation. And the thing is that you delay your dream because that you keep holding on to the past, to whatever happened in the past. And for some of you guys, this is about love, this is a person, this is from your parents, this is from a situation. There's something in your past that keeps you stuck. For some of you guys, an earth sign is coming into your life a water sign or a Gemini. And I will say that for some of you guys, a male or female is going to help you with the next step. And for others of you, it's the universe helping you. But this is your lesson to find out what is it that's keeping me stuck in manifesting what I actually want. My microphone was running out of battery, so I'm going to record the last uh, of the reading without it. But the thing for you, Aquarius, is that all the possibilities are open for you, but it's up to you to take the wish. Like a genie is popping out of the, um, you know, whatever you call that, I can't remember. The, la the what do you call that? You guys know what I mean. And it's like, your wish is my command. So, do you dare to ask the universe your wish? Do you dare to ask what you, do, what you wish for? Let me give you guys a last guidance on your way. And let's see what is the last guidance for you in this. Okay, we have this one, we have this one. You have two pink cards. You have two cards from Ariel, which again is pentacles. So you have all the money, all the material help that you can get. But for you, it's all about daring to ask for what you want, because something is keeping you locked. And again, for some of you guys, it's linked together with love and abundance, whatever you want to create. You might have a partner who's holding you back, you, you might have someone in your life who you are waiting for and that is holding you back. But it's for you to dare to open Pandora's box, not in a bad way, but again there's something that you see as like, oh my god, I can't do that. I can't do that because I don't have the material, I don't have the finances for that, I don't have the knowledge. And the universe is trying to tell you that you do have the knowledge. And it's your lucky day. New resource of money, time or support, a change in job and promotion. For some of you guys, or for a lot of you guys, this is about a job or the way that you make money. Do what you love, a time of great personal growth in your career. This is a really great time for you to grow on a personal level and when it comes to your career. And like I said, because this is all about like, you know, um, working with others in cooperative ma manners. So I do feel that, some, like I said before, that either it's a female coming your way or it's a male coming your way who's going to help you. For some of you guys, it is the universe helping you. So I will say to you Aquarius, take this chance that's coming your way because this is a lot of abundance, this is a lot of love, this is a new chapter for you. It's all you want, it's all you wish for. I do feel a lot of you guys are going to be self-employed. It might take three months for you to get to the point where you dare to ask the universe for your wish. And you turning all this around is going to bring you in alignment with your dream and desire. Rather this is a person or if this is what you want. So. I hope you guys could use your birthday reading. Let me know in the comment below. Remember to write a comment down below if this resonated. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!